good, Homer Squad. It's your boy, Homer Ziggy, and we back here with another reaction for y'all. And today, we got Mac Lethal, which, case in point, Tom McDonald is a Nazi. You see, Tom McDonald is a Nazi 2024 diss. <laughs> hey. That's a blank. If that ain't just a blank and disrespect right there. Because normally in diss tracks, they will be like discreet with it or so be or a little bit creative with it. But nah. <laughs> he just straight up just tells it how he feels it is and such. So if y'all don't if y'all don't remember if for those who are new and such, well, he put a little description, but I I know a little bit more, but just to refresh our brains, let's. I'm gonna read the description for y'all. So, it says several years ago, a rapper by the name of Tong McDonald made a couple dis disses about me. I responded with one, but honestly, didn't want to engage with him because I simply put, don't respect him as an artist. On I honestly wanted nothing to do with it. I came up battling people like the Sarus or Illmatic. Shout out to the battle rappers. Legit battle rap legends. A Canadian drift drifter? A Canadian drifter who started rapping after he heard the Marshall Matters LP who has super cool slip knot braids and look totally scary in his oversized contacts is not my idea of a competitor. If you like his music, great. I don't think it's good, edgy. I don't think it's good, edgy, controversial, or cool. If you do, go go listen to it. Hey, he just stated his opinion. We actually squashed it, DM'd, even followed each other. Talked a few times, we moved past it. Even though his fan base of illiterate, inbred meth heads with missing teeth still in the sense in Consistently harassed me. I was impressed by his candor, candor, and moved on with my life. He's a nice guy, at least when you talk to him one on one. So he's so I didn't know that they squashed it. I cause I thought they cause I thought at the start they were still beefing on the one. But regardless, continue reading. Unfortunately, a couple weeks ago he decided to randomly diss me on wax. A certain that a certain that he trampled me with when we battled and even going as far as mentioning me as mentioning situations in my personal and professional life I thought it was a bummer apparently he took my kindness when we battle as a weakness and think I'm just gonna sit here quietly so here's the first half of my response <laughs> the second half is much meaner by the way I've been moving around a lot and super and not super active on YouTube lately. I'll get back to it soon, y'all. Moving cities right now and my pops is very sick. P.S. I don't give a F about relevancy. He started this shit. So, hey. Simply put, I thought it died down years ago because this happened back in, what, 2019 or so? So, I thought it was all died down and such. But, apparently, Tom McDonald was this in him and such like he said so let's see what this first half is about so we better check this out this is seven minutes and 30 seconds of it make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on all my socials up there and without further ado let's get into this let's be clear about one thing you started it you sneak dissing pussy <laughs> <Well, there. laughs> oh my god I thought it was funny too. We already squashed this dude. What are you doing? Here's a backstory. A couple years ago, Tom McDonald got his feelings hurt and made a track mm. towards me. Tried to diss me in a rapping war. Tried to bait me into going back and forth. But I really didn't have the passion for it. So I made one song and I had to ignore it. I don't want to sound rude. I just think he's mad corny. I didn't want to give it energy. A transphobic, homophobic, culture vulture rapping about white supremacy isn't worthy of facing me Damn. negatively. But I'm getting tired of watching this dude embarrass hip hop's history. And the other day he dropped a new song and for some reason he was kissing me. Fine. Fight contract sign. Normally I would have paid this any mind. But you made a nine minute song about your personal life. Why the fuck you mention mine? I've been minding my business and mine. Now I haven't heard. Now I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I mostly don't react to Tom McDonald's music because, look, 
Some people may say his music is corny, others they just don't rock with it period because of the fan base but me personally honestly and this is not me just hating or anything I'm just to me it doesn't feel me personally I don't know about y'all but me personally he's just not that interested towards me just that's just me so Mind, but you made a nine minute song about your personal life Why the my, fuck you mention mine? I've been minding my business and buying some property Why are you dissing me? Why you take shots at me? Man, are you buying prescriptions again? Is it lines that you're sniffing? It's gotta be <laughs> Fuck it Ding, ding, let's begin You got weak skin We followed each other on IG We did <laughs> end, we even Agreed that we would be friends Thomas, we already squashed it Last time, I took the high road This time, I'm getting toxic mm. First off, your music sucks You're goofy as fuck Your beats are trash I bet a million dollars cash That I can easily beat your Damn. ass Your girlfriend is a skeezer With diseases She got fleas and crabs She used to go to Russell Simmons' house And eat his ass No What? <laughs> Whoa Hey, yo he, Hold on Wait He did said Well, hey If this is how the first half is It He's not even trying to be like at least sneaky with the bars and such. He just come up straight and it. Oh look. Dollars cash that I can easily beat your ass. Your girlfriend is a skeezer with diseases. She got fleas and crabs. She used to go to Russell Simmons' house and eat his ass. No, the Rockefeller. Known for Rockefeller. She was a groupie over a Def Jam and a hoe at Rockefeller. You nerdy cup. I wouldn't touch that dirty slut for 30 bucks. You're not even in the top 10 rappers. Your girl is fucked. Oh my god. She's vaginally in God damn. You're not even in the top 10 that your girl has. Mm. It's crazy work. That's crazy. You nerdy cup. I wouldn't touch that dirty slut for 30 bucks. You're not even in the top 10 rappers. Your girl is fucked. Oh <laughs> my god. She's vaginally infected. I'll get back to her in a second. First, I'm smashing hey, yo. You on this record. I'll punch you so hard you'll see three of me. You'll say hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Half your fucking fan base wishes they could buy slaves. I donate my money to veterans. Okay. What you want, <laughs> Peppermint? Don't complain about it. Just do it. Quit patting yourself on the back for <laughs> the camera lens. You're just Doja Cat for Nazis. A feminine racist on everything. You're just Doja Cats for Nazis. Cause she, hey, all I'm saying is, I don't give a damn what y'all say with Doja Cat. Sometimes, <laughs> sit, look, I could give, t this is just me, and look, I stand by what I'm saying. I could give two shit, she, I'm not saying she's not talented or anything, she can sing herself, but sometimes, for me, I could give two shits if your music sounds good. When it comes to you personally, of how you are as a person, the fact that she went on Omegle at one point in her life and entertaining certain racists on that platform, that's crazy. That's how you want to stay relevant. That's crazy of how you want to keep your name circling around and such. I'm just saying. To her in a second. First, I'm smashing you on this record. I punch you so hard, you'll see three of me. You'll say hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Half your fucking fan base wishes they could buy slaves. I donate my money to veterans. Okay, what you want a peppermint? Don't complain about it, just do it. Quit patting yourself on the back for the camera lens. You're just Doja Cat for Nazis, a feminine racist on every beat. They call you an anti woke rapper because your music puts everybody mm. to sleep. Fuck everything that your lame ass do. If Dave Matthews had braids and a face tattoo and made a song called If I Was a Gay Black Jew, we would all be like, hey, that's you. Acting like you represent the blue collar working man rocking army boots when you live in Woodland Hills and wear $5,000 for <laughs> She sues you'll never fuck with Mac. Look at this blonde bitch surrounded by shirtless African American actors. What you about to get gang banged in an episode of Black? Your fans. Damn. <laughs> Not the b boy has that picture has. You can't even. That's crazy. <laughs> surrounded by shirtless African American actors. What you about to get gang banged in an episode of Black? That's Your crazy. Fans. That is crazy. <laughs> Cheer when planes fly over Gaza dropping bombs. I'm a 52 year old soccer mom. I hate rap, but you're awesome, Tom. <laughs> Fake fraud, poser, liar, charlatan, and grifter at heart. You have no fucking dignity. You'll do anything just to get on the charts. <laughs> Bitch, I'm a star. Kicking these bars, burning his body, I'll rip it apart. Tom, did you call yourself the white?
light version of Kendrick Lamar. Talking like you. Wait, what? Hold on. Tom? Finally, a rapper is saying something that matters. Ain't no freaking way, nigga. Hell the fuck on. The white Kendrick Lamar. The nigga. Hold on. Let me. Let me not. Let me. My, my camera zoom in. Really, nigga? The white Kendrick Lamar? Really? Really? Really, nigga? You don't try if you don't get the flop up out of here about the white Kendrick Lamar. Get on the charts, bitch on the star, kicking these bars, burning his body, I'll rip it apart. Tom, did you call yourself the white version of Kendrick Lamar? Talking like <laughs> exactly. you kicked the doors for the indie movement, bitch. You stole that same blueprint from rhyme sayers and strange mm. music. I paved your road, real indie since 01. Now I'm Marvin Gaye's father, I'm killing my Damn. own son. <laughs> That's crazy. Anyway, he had a rich dad and a racist mom. Nova, daddy, here, Nova. Oh. Daddy, come here, girl. Sit. Oh, good girl. Here's a treat. Ain't no way this nigga's caught. Oh, now he's definitely being petty as shit. <laughs> But I mean, hey, who, sorry if y'all hear a car. Who am I to tell him not how to do his diss tracks? Go off, nigga. <laughs> Come here, girl. Sit. Aw, oh, good girl. Here's a treat. Daddy, here's the truth that you can't run from. No can do told me when I'm fighting monsters, don't let it make you become one. Your ego's too big. It's got to be deflated. Trying to say political rap is a genre you created. You got to be fucking kidding. Ice T, Ice Cube, Immortal Technique, X Clan, or Public mm. Enemy? Of course you have it. You know nothing about the culture. Second Amendment, right guns coming about the holster. Put the pistol in your mouth. Name one song off of Illmatic before I pull the trigger. <laughs> you want to be American so bad that you won't even rep your own flag, and now you're getting toe tagged. Because he is Canadian. It is so crazy that a nigga. I, look, I get it that people who rep in the U.S. say that, but the thing is, if you wasn't technically born in the U.S., right, you do realize you, because the thing with me is, right, I'm not saying I'm not going to rep the U.S.A. flag. I'm not saying that at all. But what I'm saying is this. If I know I was born from somewhere else, but I came to the U.S. for for like opportunity or for a visa or to become a citizen and whatnot. That don't mean that I'm gonna just discredit or disown where I came from naturally. Cause you always hear me repping my Jamaican, my culture every single time. Even if I live in the U.S. or not. So to say that you want to talk about the U.S. and such when nigga you're literally from Canada <laughs> hey respect to all my Canadians out there but goddamn, if I if that's not you want to talk about a backstabber for your own countries it is crazy oh. culture second amendment right guns coming about the holster put the mouth. pistol in your mouth name one song off the Illmatic before I pull the trigger a car you want to be American so bad that you won't even rip flag. your own flag and now you're getting toe tagged on every single song you use that same dead flow your girls like Emily Willis a brain hmm. dead hoe I should have known that you're a damn snake the type of person that'll look right in a man's face and offer him a handshake call the truce to clear peace on the landscape then diss his family life just to entertain your fan base I'm God mode trying to rap like Jesus but in real life you act like Judas with pussy cat like movements I feel like Caesar getting stabbed mm. by Brutus but I got whiplash so drums make me smack my students you do <laughs> hold on what you said Knoxville will what 
that by Brutus, but I got whipped. Lash so drums make me smack my students. Max, Max here will explain that. Well, I I did see that he posted his reaction to this. I can't wait to watch it. All I know is with Ma with Knox Hill, you know for a fact that man is finna break down all the. All I can say is with Knox Hill, if you don't think this man won't break these bars down, you lying. Hold on, let me let me put it at least at 480. But well, one thing's for sure, <laughs> he going in. I ain't lying. In the handshake. Clear peace on the landscape, then this is family life your just to base. entertain your fan base. On God mode, trying to rap like Jesus, but in real life, you act like Judas with pussy cat like mm. movements. I feel like Caesar getting mm. stabbed by Brutus, but I got whiplash, so drums make me smack mm. my students. YouTube diss tracks, they really ain't my vibe. When I battle a rapper, shit, I'd mm. rather do it live. I'll bet 50,000 bucks to the charity of your choice that you won't look me in the eyes and put clarity mm. in your voice and say the things about me that you said in all your diss tracks. When I'm a foot away from you and you might mm. get bitch last year we could battle on king of the dot your girl knows all those dudes she's seen all their cocks we could battle up in canada right in your hometown i'll let you pick the city and video mm. it goes down and i promise i'll get a bigger applause than you because in hip-hop there ain't a bigger mm. fraud than you i went on tour with d12 those dudes mm. are my friends. they showed me some video you made for eminem they told me they were in the studio with slim when mm. he watched it he cringed and he cut it off 30 seconds in Man said Eminem said cut that shit off after 30 seconds. It's crazy. It was slim when he watched it, he cringed and he cut it off 30 seconds in. Eminem doesn't like you, he does not mm. respect you. You made a love song about him begging him to peg you. Have hey, you noticed? Cause, Cause if you remember he did rap the, I did remember him rapping on an Eminem beat or so. And if I'm not mistaken, wasn't it like the stand beat or so? Something like that, but I did remember him rapping on an Eminem produced beat. So, yeah, it's crazy. You, he does not respect you. You made a love song about him begging him to peg you. Have you noticed that publicly he's never even mentioned it? I'm sorry, buddy. I know that's not how you envisioned it. You thought he'd call you like, hey, Tom, it's Slim Shady. You're so controversial. How are you this crazy? You want to make a song about how transgender men are pretend ladies and all the lit ladies having mixed babies? One thing would make <laughs> first of all this part right this whole line right here this whole thing right here if that is definitely slim shady esque Versio, how are you this crazy you want to make a song about how transgender men are pretend <laughs> ladies and all the live ladies have <laughs> mixed babies and how the mexican border is being invaded by woke palestinians causing inflation we'll call it white boys part 12 it'll be and the Grammy goes Tom to McDonald. Eminem and Tom <laughs> McDonald. I'm sorry that you didn't get to do a song with your hero. At least you got to do a song with Ben Shapiro. Mm. The dude that censored Candace Owens mm. was quick. And he said that rap music isn't real music. And he tried to say the pussies aren't supposed to get wet. That song was so controversial and over the edge. I'm kidding. Nobody cares about your facts and your feelings. You make music for people that storm the Capitol building. You make rap. And what's so crazy is... People want to still say about how black people is this, that, and the third. All I'm going to say is, what happened on January 6th? Think about it. There was not one person there. Not one. If you go look back on that footage of who, who stormed the Capitol. To me... I did not see one melanated brother, sister, whatever in between there. That's all I'm going to say. If you have, let me know. But otherwise from that, it was mostly all... It's basically like this. What is something that's the color? All I can say is, it was mostly this color of people that was there. <laughs> that's all. Respects to all my white people out there, but you know 
hey, it was mostly y'all up there. Not, mm. <laughs> but back to this. Feels quick, and he said the rap music is the real music. And he tried to say the pussies aren't supposed to get wet. That song was so controversial and over the edge. I'm kidding. Nobody cares about your facts and your feelings. You make music for people that storm the Capitol building. You make rap tunes for white trash in red people that snort crank and dirty ass gas station bathrooms. People that shoot AR 15s in classrooms that never heard of Nas Del Wu or Black Moon. You make music for people that hate black mm. dudes, people that huff mm. gas fumes, got barbed wire tattoos, people that say the N word while playing Call of Duty, people that buy a case of Bud Light just to shoot it, incels that are terrified of sex, and people that pay money to be verified on X. People. My boy, name Arson. Basically, he basically he's saying you're making music for for how can I say this in the most correctly or whatever basically i'm making music for dumbasses that's how i can say no matter how he's putting it in such you're making he makes music for dumbasses that's what he's just saying word while playing call of duty people that buy a case of butt light just to shoot it incels that are terrified of sex and people that pay money to be verified mm. on x people that say now normal I don't like rap, but this Tom McDonald dude is great cause he ain't black I rewrote this disc three times, kept throwing out the verses Punch lines weren't cut and it needed substance and some purpose I realized I needed to try to cut beyond the surface And instead of murdering you, maybe I could be of service You constantly just brag about the ways you feel yourself It's obvious you're losing your battle with mental health Trying to fill the emptiness in your soul by getting wealth But the money, fame, Louis and Gucci, it didn't help You need to go to Balenciaga and get a belt Put it round your neck, kick out the stool, then kill yourself You need to put a gun to your head, then drill yourself Cause to yourself, you've never revealed yourself I swear to God, I know record label execs That managed you, represented you, brought you a couple checks They told me all sorts of shit about you How you like to How you like to Oh Maybe your best course <laughs> Would be to tread lightly Well, damn well, shit. <laughs> Man said, you know what? Was He did say part two. The second part will be much, much more meaner. So, we'll see what happens in part two. But, hey. He was just straight on going in. <laughs> but, look. You let me know what you thought about this down in the comments below. Man just straight up when man this was hey i see no left shacks like thumbnail and such thumbnail text white on white crime you're damn right <laughs> but look it's been your boy homo ziggy signing out stay positive keep the vibes up can't wait for part two and hey if you made it to the end comment down below part two so that makes me know you made it to the end but it's been your boy homo ziggy signing out stay positive keep the vibes up I'm out.